Hey guys, it's No Name. Kha'Zix got buffed recently and has been terrorizing competitive play and solo queue. His damage is through the roof and can one-shot any enemy that is isolated. I managed to hit Challenger earlier this season and right now I've been spamming Kha'Zix with great success. With that in mind, let's get into the guide and as usual, there are timestamps below. Kha'Zix is passive, is unseen threat, which has two parts. The first part is isolation. Enemies have an indicator on top of them if they are isolated, meaning that they are separated from other allies. The second portion of your passive gives your next auto attack additional damage against enemy champions and will slow them for two seconds. It expires after one auto attack, but you can refresh this auto by having the enemy lose sight of you. Kha'Zix's Q is Taste of Fear. Ka slices a target enemy dealing damage. If the enemy is isolated, it will deal increased damage. When Kha'Zix evolves his Q, his auto attack and Q will gain 50 bonus range. And when used on an isolated enemy, 45% of the cooldown is refunded. This ability is great for your single target clearing and 1v1ing enemies. Kha'Zix's W is Void Spike. Ka fires a spike in a target direction, dealing damage to all enemies within the detonation range of it. If Kha'Zix is within the detonation range, it will heal him. When evolved, he fires three spikes in a cone, which slow enemies all hit and will grant sight upon the enemy. If you land it on an isolated target, it will increase the slow percentage to 90. An interesting thing to note about this ability is that it will cast from wherever Kha'Zix is at the end of the cast time, which means that you can cast your W and Flash to extend the range without the enemy being able to react. Kha'Zix's E is Leap. Kha'Zix leaps to a target location dealing physical damage to the area you land on. When evolved, Kha'Zix gains an extra 200 range on the leap and will reset your cooldown of your E on a champion takedown. An interesting thing to note is that your Q may be used mid-dash along with some of the spells and active items. Additionally, if you get a kill with the Q in mid-dash, you can spam your E to do a double jump. Kha'Zix's ult is Void Assault. Passively, every time you put a point into your ultimate, you can choose ability to evolve. This channels for 2 seconds and cannot be interrupted, so make sure you avoid using it in combat or somewhere that you could easily get caught. Actively, Kha'Zix will enter stealth for 1.25 seconds and gain bonus move speed while stealth. For the next 10 seconds, you can recast the ability for the same effect. When evolved, Kha'Zix can cast the ability a third time and the Visibility is increased to 2 seconds long. Using this ability will reset passive regardless if there is true sighted on you. There are a lot of rune choices you can choose on Kha'Zix. Let's go through a few of the options as they are better for different scenarios. Conqueror is a choice you should take against jungle champions that you will have extended trades against. Champions such as Volibear and Skana. This also works better and better with the more tank or non-squishy enemies your opponent has. A good way to determine whether or not you want to take this rune is to think if you will build Black Cleaver after your jungle item. If the answer is no, then you should choose a different rune. The next choice you can go with is phase rush. Phase rush is to go against enemies that can kite you and keep you at a safe distance with their escapes. Think of champions such as Nidalee or Graves that can dash away from you. You can follow them a lot easier with phase rush. Similarly, squishy enemies will escape in other roles such as an Ezreal or Caitlyn. Phase rush is more interchangeable with your third rune choice which is electrocute. Electrocute is taken for you to have the most single target assassination potential as possible. If you have a high priority enemy target that you need to kill that is also vulnerable to being jumped on. Think of a champion like Syndra or Cassiopeia. Similarly, you can replace Electrocute with Dark Harvest if you really want to turbo carry your game. It has less strength earlier in the game than Electrocute but will vastly outscale. For your build on Kha'Zix, you always want to start Hunter's Talisman. You always want to go for that over Machete because of how often you can cast your Q and how it combines well with your single target clear. For your smite upgrades, you want to choose Red Smite with Warrior Enchant. Kha'Zix will always look to 1v1 an enemy, preferably in isolation, so having Red Smite will allow that style to succeed. 
For your boot choices, between Merc Treads, Ninja Tabby and Swiftness Boots, it depends on what the enemy team has. CC for Mercs, a lot of auto attacks for Tabby, or Swifties if they have neither. Make sure to look at the enemy team when deciding. For your second item, it depends on what runes you take and what enemies you are playing against. You can buy a Black Cleaver if you're against a lot of tank enemies, or you can go Dusk Blade if you need to one-shot an enemy or just want a lot of damage. There is a lot of ways to build Kha'Zix, but there are genuinely two paths, either the Assassin Path or the Bruiser Path. For the Assassin Path, items such as Yumu's, Umbral Glaive and Edge of Night are options that you should consider going. For the Bruiser build, you should consider items such as Death Dance, Guardian Angel and War of Mamortius. You can also slot in Last Whisper at some points in the build if you need it. It is viable mix and match these items and have different items on different players, but the best item for Kha'Zix are Duskblade and Black Cleaver. So if you're going to mix and match, make sure to choose those. Additionally, you are an assassin, so swapping to sweeping lens when you can and buying lots of pink quads is a great way to enable your playstyle. For your skill order, you should start with your Q level 1. There are some clears where you can start W, but generally Q is the safe option. Take your W second and your E third. After that, you want to max out Q and then your W second with your E last, taking a point in your ultimate whenever available. The evolve order you usually want to go with is R, then W, then E. You get so much from evolving your ult and it makes it incredibly strong once you get it. After that, evolving W for the utility can help you be useful in teamfights and catching enemies. Then Third, you want to evolve wings, so that you can go mental in any team fight. You generally don't want to evolve your Q. Overall, it has the weakest evolve and you will have enough damage without it. For your sums, you want to take Smite and Flash. And if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe. For your clear, you generally want to start on whichever side has the best leash for you. Kha'Zix benefits heavily from receiving a leash, so make sure to start whichever side your bot lane is on. You usually want to full clear on Kha'Zix, so if you're on blue side, you can blue, gromp, wolves, and then clear your red side. You can have your whole jungle cleared by about 323. If you are starting red side, you should avoid clearing your Krugs and just clear up to gromp. On the first clear, you want to avoid fighting the enemy jungler so you can just run to the side with the uncontested crab. Once you have a few levels in your queue, you can look to 1v1 the enemy jungler and you are able to kill the dragon really quickly, so look to contest the jungler or get the dragon. You don't have much CC, so ganking an enemy lane with setup is best, and if an enemy is pushed really far up, you can zoom in with your evolved ultimate and be right beside them before they can even react. If you get a lead on car, you can start snowballing extremely hard and take over the game. Later into the game, Kha'Zix can kill an enemy solo in side lane really easily. His 1v1 potential is really high and you should be able to win every single one provided you are not really far behind. Your objective control is also great since your isolation damage on your Q is insane, so comboing that with your smite should mean that you never miss a smite. Your hardest spikes on Kha'Zix is on your evolves, so if you are close to do whatever you can to reach those points. Team fighting on Kha'Zix is a challenge, but it is possible. You need to play the fights carefully and enter in on a flank to kill a squishy opponent. Never initiate a fight by yourself, but you can look to slow down enemies with your W and let your team follow up after that. If an enemy is isolated, you should look to pick them off and jumping in and out of the fight with your ult is the best way to do so. You should use the full duration of your stealth on your ult in your team fight to cause as much disruption and chaos as you can. And when you have upgraded wings, you can jump in and out to pick off many targets. Overall, Kha'Zix is extremely strong at the current moment and can carry your entire team through his damage outputs. He also provides great dragon control, which is extremely important with Dragon Souls existing. He is difficult to learn and utilizing his playstyle to the maximum is a challenge, but if you can do so, the time you invest into this champ will wield great rewards. Thanks for watching the guide. If you want more guides like this one, subscribe to the Monster Rugby Gaming YouTube channel. If it's more of me you want, you can follow me at NoNameEUS on Twitter.